boys and girls, you're now kindergartners. Regress a little bit. We're going to learn a new word today. In fact, we're going to learn multiple words. And all of these words end in the same sound. The sound is zzz. What's the sound, everybody? Zzz. Feel your throat when you make that sound. Zzz. What do you feel? My motor is on, right? My motor's on. It's the sound that's making my throat vibrate. My motor is on. It's a voice sound. By the way, teachers, what processing system am I tapping into right now? Monological. With the four-part processing system, we start at the bottom, we work our way up. So every word, oh, now your kids again. Every word, boys and girls, that we're going to learn today um, ends with the zzz sound. What sound does every word end in? Now, every word's going to end with a z sound, but we're going to spell it in a really unique way. Actually, it's not as unique as you think. It's actually the most common way of spelling the z sound. We're going to spell z with an S. Turn to someone next to you and say, oh my goodness, we're going to spell z with an S. Do it. Oh my goodness. Dr. that taught me well. Fake it until you make it when it comes to you. Okay, excited with kids. You've got to get them to be excited. You've got to add some enthusiasm. That's brain rule number four. We don't pay attention to boring things. So get them excited about this, right? So all of these words are going to end with what sound, everybody? And they're going to end with what letter? S. S. And S is going to make what sound? By the way, what two processors am I now tapped into? Phonological and orthographic. Remember I told you that phonological and orthographic are a ping pong ball. Back, forth, back, forth. So I want to make sure that I do that. Okay. Um, so, this particular word we're going to start with is was. What's the word? Was. Let's tap the sounds. Was. Uh, uh, how many sounds is that? Three. I would like you to take your marker and your dry erase board. We're going to work on the side of the big squares. And I would like you to draw an outline around three boxes like this. Why do I have like three boxes? I've got three sounds. Three boxes, three sounds. Okay, what is that first sound we hear in was? Whoa, whoa, whoa. In fact, with my little ones, I'll make them do something like this. Let's let's watch as I pound my fist for that first sound. Whoa, whoa, was. You do it. Whoa, whoa, was. Um, so by the way, what processor is that again? Phonological. What letter gives us that sound? And my kids in kindergarten will often not say W, they will say. Why? They'll say why. Why do they say why? Because why starts with a what sound. Okay, so my kids might say why, and I would tell them instead, it's the letter W. What letter is it? W. I would like you to write a W in the first box, because what is the first sound. What's the last sound you hear was? Watch if I, um, we're going to punch it, watch me. Was. You do it. Was. What's that last sound? And how did I tell you we were going to spell the z sound today? S. S. So what letter am I going to write in my last box to represent my last sound? S. S. By the way, what two processors do I keep ping-ponging back and forth between? <laughs> yep, I keep going back and forth because notice I play font phonology is time all by itself with no print. And then I connect it to print, then we go back to phonology, then we go back to print, right? Okay. Um, the middle sound in was, we're going to roller coaster it. Watch me. What? Uhs! You do that. Uh, what was that vowel sound? The medial vowel you hear in was. Uh, uh. And many of my kids who know phonics will say, oh, let's do uh, uh. And then I'll say, great job using your sounds. But in this case, the uh sound is not spelled with a U. It's a word that we need to know by heart. I would like for you to draw a heart above your uh, uh, uh sound, because this is a word we need to know by what, everybody? Heart. Turn to someone next to you and say, I need to know this word by heart. <laughs> okay, the uh, uh, uh sound in this word is spelled with the letter A. How are we spelling uh, everybody? A. a. Everyone point to the what sound. Point to uh. uh. Point to z. Run your finger underneath it and read the word. Was. What's the word, everybody? Was. Now let's talk a little bit about that word. So we've, we've uh, spelled the word, we've practiced the sounds in the word. Let's talk about what that word means. Was 
is the past tense, meaning it already happened, of the word is. Let me give you an example. It is going to snow today. Well, at least it feels like it. But it was snowing a few days ago. She is hungry right now, but she was famished yesterday. What two processes are going to happen to? Maybe. 